Okay, so for me, the, the Gamay Festival, to, as a historic point of view, it's a cross between the Pinot Noir and the Gouet, which is an old variety, which is um, more, the Gouet was more productive and the, the Pinot Noir was the smallest one. The idea was to to make something more productive and uh, um, and also have to have more structure, which is one of the, the sometimes one of the weakness of the of the Pinot Noir. It's to uh, to be difficult to grow first of all and to to have a decent uh, crop and um, and so one. So that was really the idea. And the crossing grapes always been in use for uh, in I mean in the winery uh, for in France or wherever. And uh, so there is not one gamay, there is really hundreds of type of gamay and uh, so it's always, I mean here in the US we always talk about gamay or Pinot Noir or Chardonnay but uh, in France uh, it's kind of a, it's a big family of, uh, of grape variety which is the gamay. And uh, so if, if we go around our vineyards I could show you at least four, five or six different type of gamay and, uh, and we know them really by heart where they are and which one will make the great one, what's the weakness of that one. So we work them differently, um, which is... Uh, so the, one of the main thing is um, Gamay is the gravity of the Beaujolais, which is granite. And uh, in Burgundy, it's been, a, it's been a long story with the Gamay because, uh, for example, for the Maconnet, it was planted, uh, um, arrived in... 18th century, something like that. Before that was mainly Pinot Noir and some of the Chardonnay or some old grab variety, which uh, there is 100 in, in Burgundy. Um, but the Gamay was a uh, was banned ban, uh, of the Côte d'Or and the, the Côte de Nuit uh, 400 years ago because it was it was called disloyal to the Pinot Noir because it was creating too much, uh, too much grape, and uh, so the the winemaker were pushing uh, the, the the production, and so the the which I think from the Duke said, All right, we ban the gamay. I always say that he should have banned ban the bad winemaker instead of banning the gamay, which is uh, because gamay can really produce some fantastic wine and keep it extremely well. But I mean, if you have to push a gamay to produce, uh, push a Pinot Noir to produce, you really have to restrain uh, the gamay to to have a very good result. I mean, it's just a question of understanding the plant and growing the plant properly. And um, there is a massive difference in uh, in the Beaujolais and the Maconnet. The the Beaujolais is really on on granite, so the soils are kind of poorer, and uh, so it actually fits the gamay for that reason. In, in the Maconnet, we are uh, in the limestone, we are, everything is on limestone. And so you have clay, so it's kind of rich soil. So if you don't uh, choose some very poor land, and actually um, you can have real trouble with the gamay, or you really have to control it. So you have to be careful where, where you grow them. Then in the same time, gamay is kind of the cousin of the Pinot Noir. So if you work it well with it, you will be very close to what Pinot Noir can be in, uh, in the bottle.